Midnight Music Mix. Music, at least to me, has always been a sort of cathartic event. It's, it's a way to express uh, feelings and tell stories about experiences, real or fake. Uh, and and, and kind of, you know, I'll, I'll always call myself a storyteller over before I call myself a musician. And I think music kind of lends itself to that. Art lends itself to telling stories. Uh, so for me, mu music is definitely just that way to kind of uh, take all the complications of what uh, feelings actually are and emotions and distilling it into something tangible that everyone can kind of consume. Um, and it's also a way to tell the story. So how does life impact music making and, and, and how I make music and my experiences in that. Um, it kind of, it, it's sometimes me reading my personal diary and in, in making a song out of it. Um, so as, as much as I, you know, we're uh, just going through life and, and experiencing different emotions and feelings and stuff like that, uh, that, that usually becomes a lot of the songs that I end up writing. Um, being, being honest, how I normally consume music, it hasn't been affected too much. Um, I'm still having daily commutes to work. I'm still getting input from my uh, singing students about what music they're into. Um, but for the, I guess, I guess the bigger part of it would be the live music. Um, I'm in a band called the Fifth Star Band. We used to perform all over Chicago. Um, we've done some really nice gigs and I would listen to the local bands a lot more and I just don't have a chance to do that when I'm not introduced to them uh, through shows and whatnot. So uh, I'm still listening to to like my my you know uh, Spotify mix, but I, I don't listen to local bands the same way as I did before. So um, that is one definitely hard hit to take, but. Um, as things start to open back up, hopefully we'll have music again and uh, I can get back to listening to uh, all the local. Midnight Music Mix.